Where would I be now without money? Well, for sure not living a life of relative comfort like all of you sitting here in this room. I've never really considered myself to be a lucky person, even when I took money for granted. However, one small holiday trip changed that forever. It all began a few years back when I, my mum and dad decided to go to Jamaica. Like you, I thought that we were going to a place that brings in a lot of money. I had a vision of golden sand and beautiful houses with swimming pools. Its tourism accounts for 64% of their national gross income. 64%! That's quite a lot of money. But unfortunately, I discovered that it wasn't the case in every situation when I went to my aunt's house. Oh my God. It was absolutely horrible. They slept in a sort of shelter that I wouldn't even classify as a home. And they only had one toilet to share among 14 of them. To realize that my own family was below the poverty line of 16.5% really struck home for me. But do you know what? That experience made me become determined to, to make more than 25,000 pounds a year, more than the average person in this country when I seek employment. So without money, life is extremely difficult. For instance, 20% of the people born here are born into a family that earns less than six thousand pounds a year what is that nothing and is the reason why my mother always says you have to give thanks for your father <laughs> because I know if it wasn't for my dad I wouldn't be standing here today therefore money is just a piece of paper but the key is what you do with it so I leave with this where would you be now without it.